Hello everyone and welcome back to the Game Movie Jerks. In today's episode, we are going to talk about an interesting and very difficult area, or at least difficult for how early in the game it is. Of course, I am talking about Soul Sanctum, specifically in City of Tears to the east and upwards. Soul Sanctum consists of extremely intelligent scholars who did experiments with Soul. They studied all its aspects and clearly learned ways to store it, as they have glass pots full of it spread throughout the entire area. However, they, especially the Soul Master, eventually found Soul to be the solution to all problems. They began to think that they could use it for magical powers, immortality, and most notably, a cure for the infection. What makes the lore about this area confusing is Soul itself. No one really knows exactly what Soul is, except that it is a kind of life force that animates the bodies of bugs. Beyond this, however, we have no clue about anything regarding Soul. Why is it liquid? Why is it able to be extracted from bugs? My main question is why does it give people the capability to cast spells? Only a few people have been known to know how to do this, however. The ancient civilization was able to figure out how to store soul and totems, but no proof of them casting spells with it is evident. However, the vessels and the snail shamans are both able to wield soul. The knight can use it both for power and to heal. Using it to heal makes sense as it is a vital life force, so more of it should enhance your body in some way. Casting dangerous spells with it, however, makes less sense. It should be mentioned that the hunter knows a surprising amount about Soul and the situation of Soul Sanctum. We know this through his journal entries of the enemies in the Sanctum, which are weirdly detailed and tell the whole story of what actually happened there. What truly happened after the scholars found out what Soul was capable of, well, they began to put it to use. When the infection broke out throughout Hollow Nest, Soul Master and his scholars thought that Soul could cure the infection. Through their research, which was heavily opposed by the Pale King, they got infected themselves. Eventually, they started experimenting with their own scholars. Many experiments didn't go well. The results of these would be the enemies called Mistakes and Follies. They also started gathering citizens and stealing their soul, which in turn killed them. You can see the result of this from a huge mound of dead husks in the soul's sanctum. With their minds infected, the scholars started believing crazy things and worked towards using soul for immortality. As previously mentioned, the hunter knows a weird amount about the situation. In the journal entry for the mistakes and follies, he says that they were once intelligent but were deformed by the misuse of soul. Through this, we know that he knew both what had happened and that he knew what soul was. Not sure why he was so mystified by jellyfish in Fog Canyon, but he isn't confused about soul here. In the Folly journal notes, he talks about how they were seeking immortality, and how obscene that is. I did say he was not confused about Soul in the one journal entry, but in the Soul Twister journal notes, he seems to be. He questions what exactly Soul is, and speculates that perhaps freshly killed meat tastes better because the Soul still clings to it. He also says here that the Soul Twister can use Soul to cast powerful spells, proving he knows that Soul has this capability. The journal entries get weirder and more confusing with the Soul Warrior entry, where he acts like he has never heard of Soul. In the notes for the entry, he describes Soul as a strange power, and that it is what allows the warriors to shift suddenly from place to place, or as normal people call it, teleporting. The Soul Master journal entry is where we get most of the information. Here we learn that the hunter knew he was the leader of the Sanctum, that he was intoxicated on his own power, and that the hunter thinks perhaps the infection is from within. This does raise the question, why is the hunter not infected? I mean, he's clearly around a lot of other creatures that are most likely infected, and talks about eating meat, some of which has to be infected, right? With all of this, why is he not infected? At first, it is reasonable to assume he is a void creature, but once you see him stand up, he clearly isn't. The hunter is very mysterious, and it is unclear when he filled in this journal. It was obviously during or after the infection, as he talks about it quite a bit. However, he often talks in past tense when mentioning the infection or the way some acted. For example, in the Soul Master journal notes, he says that the bugs of Hollowness tried all kinds of tricks and rituals. It's clearly in past tense, as if he is finding them long afterwards. After defeating the Soul Tyrant, the Dream Boss version of the Soul Master, he does talk a bit about what happened. This is important, as we can now see the story from their point of view. First, he says basically that he could see a solution to the infection, the soul that animates the bug's bodies. Next, he says the king opposed everything he did. 
He goes on to say that because of the Pale King's opposition, the Soul Master was robbed of his own immortality. Lastly, he gives a big ol' screw you to the kingdom by saying they're all dead and he is immortal. This part confuses me, as right before he said he was robbed of his immortality, but then he says he'll live forever. He really needs to make up his damn mind. Another important thing to mention is that some of the scholars were able to escape the sanctum and run to the Colosseum of Fools. Well, I guess they could have been captured and brought there, but I feel like whoever is going out and capturing people would probably lose to someone with arcane spells cast with a force that can animate the bodies of bugs. A more important question still remains, however. Were the scholars infected when they went there, or did they become infected while at the Colosseum? While it is possible that they became infected, didn't like the situation, and left, I doubt that's the case, as they were infected, so any amount of thought was definitely restricted. Or maybe not. The Soul Twister and Warrior tactics are not those of an average infected bug. It is possible that because of their initial intelligence, the infection didn't fully take away their thought and intelligence. The more likely possibility regarding how they got there is that this, they left the Sanctum before becoming infected, but then chose to take on the infection once they got to the Colosseum. One interesting thing about this is the Volt Twister. This enemy is seen nowhere in the Sanctum or in Fog Canyon, but it holds similar powers to Umu and similar looks to the Scholars. Their journal entry says that they simply learned their powers from the Scholars, which again shows some amount of intelligence, at least for being infected. Well, thanks for watching, and I hope you enjoyed. Keep in mind that this is a 15-part series, at least for now. This is our 13th installment, so it's coming to a close soon. Thanks to you if you've stuck around through the whole series so far. Anyways, I'll see you guys next time on the Game Movie Jerks.